Okay, what we have here is a shipment from Newegg.com. Uh, what's inside this box here is a replacement DVD burner for my PC build. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I have a series of videos devoted to a PC that I built. And in it, I have just a regular DVD burner. On second thought, I realized I really wanted to try out a LightScribe drive. So I'm going to be replacing that drive, which is perfectly fine in my PC build, with the drive that's in this box, which is a LightScribe drive. Also inside this box are some LightScribe discs, DVD discs and CDs. So let's open this up and see what's inside here. Of course, I know what's inside, but let's see how it's all packed. First thing we have is some bubble wrap and some styrofoam peanuts. So let's open this up here. Got my packing slip here. Hassle-free packing slip. And it's all bulk wrap here, so that's why there's not going to be any boxes or anything per se. But here is the light scribe drive. I'm actually going to open that and show it to you right now. Now I don't believe this is going to come with any cords or anything, which is fine because I don't need any cords. But that's what you're dealing with when you buy some of these drives from either uh, Newegg or Tiger Direct. They're just going to give you a bulk packaging here. And uh, there's some documentation with it, which is probably just in the form of drivers here. But here's the drive, DVD burner, and if you look here, there's a little light scribe insignia there. So if you're not familiar with light scribe, oh, and by the way, here are the uh, Here's the drivers here. If you're not familiar with LightScribe, uh, what you do is it will laser print a label on the disc for you. I'll explain that a little more in depth in a second. Let me just see if there's anything else in the box. I don't think so. It's just a lot of packing peanuts. Okay. What we have here are 30, a spool of 30 CDRs and their light scribe discs. Basically what you would do is you have a label side and a data side to a disc. Everybody knows how you burn onto the data side of a disc. Well with a light scribe drive, if you're not familiar, you take the label side of the disc, you face it down on the drive and you put it in the drive and then with special software you put a picture on there or text or a combination of the two and uh, you make a label and it will etch the LightScribe drive will use the laser that it actually uses the same laser that it uses to uh, write data to your disk it'll use that laser to etch into the disk your label whatever you created and uh, it is, it's monochrome, so it'll be in a, like a black and white, uh, but it does make things look very professional. So this is a spool of 30 CDRs, and here's a spool of 30 DVD-Rs, which is good because I ran out of DVDs recently. I'm going to install it into my PC build and try out the LightScribe.
Okay, this is one of the discs right here. This is the label side. It's a little more dull, and it's actually a little more gold colored. And then this is the data side right here. It's a little more silver and a little more shiny. All right, we're over here on the uh, computer here. We're going to take the disc, and we're going to put it label side down into the drive bay here. And close it up. All right, what we have here is Nero 9. It's a popular program that you use for CD burning. And uh, I have Nero Cover Designer Essentials open here. And what I'm going to select here is LightScribe because that's the program we have. And uh, those are the disks we have. That's the drive I have. Um, and what I want to do, there's a couple of options here. I'm empty document. Audio, audio title and audio title max. I'm going to select audio title max for this for this demonstration here. Now I'm just going to cancel out of this because we're going to change some of it up here. Now up top, the, there are many different templates that you can actually use uh, for LightScribe. This is just a very basic one, and I'm just using it for uh, you know the purposes of showing you how to actually, uh, if you're not familiar with it, how to make uh, a LightScribe label for yourself. Now, you have up here, up top here, you have the ability to um, put a title up here and a title down here. In my case, I'm not going to put a title up here, so I'm just going to eliminate this, uh, put a custom text there, and uh, put nothing in it, so it just puts nothing up there, although there's still a field up there. Now, down here, what I want to do is I'm going to put custom text, but in here, I'm actually going to put in the name of the CD that I'm making. And what we're going to do is put custom text here, and we're going to put 10.10 .10 Maverick Meerkat. Now I'm going to put five spaces after it. One, two, three, four, five. Reason being is because I want some spaces between the trailing text I'm going to put on here, which is 64 bit. Okay? And there we go. It's down here. It's got a curve to it. Like I said, you could use different um, you know, templates for it. Now up top, I'm actually going to use a picture. So over here on the left-hand side, there's an image tool. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on this. This is a picture I'm going to put on here. It's a picture of the Ubuntu logo or Ubuntu logo. And I'm just making it a little bigger here. And then we're going to center it. Now you can fine tune it using the arrow keys. If you want, move it up, down, side to side. I'm just going to move it up a little bit and uh, little by little. And I actually might make this bigger. we go. Move it over. Looks like it's pretty much centered. There we go. Now this down here, I'm going to make a little bit bigger and I could just drag it down and you can see it, it distorts the text and bring this over so it almost touches the purple line there. And there we go. And maybe make it smaller again because it's not that legible that way. And you can change the text on here if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it like that. Now, um, I actually might put a little space, another space between 1010 and Maverick Meerkat. Another two spaces. How's that? There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, I think that'll be my, my uh, CD cover. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is go up to the little light scribe um, icon up here where it says print light scribe label and I'm going to click on that and then what I'm going to do is you know basically you can choose the print contrast I'm going to choose the best one copy and then this is my uh, burner that I have and uh, we're just going to hit print and it's going to start burning this label into the CD now this actually takes longer than you think it might, because printing normally you think, oh, printing is, you know, 
couple minutes. This takes about 15 minutes to do this. So remember, it's a laser burning into the into the label. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that do its thing, and when it's done, I will show you the end result. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we just printed the label on the LightScribe CD, so let's eject the drive and see what we got. Now remember the label side is down, so let's see what it looks like. Right there. Pretty close, right? Can't really see it there against it with the backlighting. But uh, you see the Ubuntu logo, or Ubuntu logo, and the lettering we put down here. Again, like I said, it's monochrome, it's not color, but uh, it does actually give you a more professional look to your CDs and um, I'm glad I bought it because this technology has been around for a while but uh, I haven't uh, taken part in it. It's not often that I make CDs or DVDs but when I do it's nice to know that you can make it uh, pretty professional looking. So that's pretty much it for this video and I will see you next time.